You want to know what the best way to learn about Betaflight is? Spend hours a day, every day, for literally years, receiving questions from every single freaking noob who messed up the setup of their quadcopter. And you will learn a thing or two about Betaflight. And today, I'm going to share one of those things with you. Let me, let me, let me share the experience with you. Joshua Bardwell, I cannot get my receiver to work. I move the sticks here on the controller and nothing happens here in the receiver tab. Well, that's easy one to fix. It just means that you are in fail safe. It just means that you haven't correctly wired up your receiver or configured your receiver to talk to your flight controller. This is actually one of the most common questions in setting up beta flight. And if we just start with what receiver you've got and what flight controller you've got, I'm sure we can get this figured out. Yeah, but wait a second, watch this. Uh, how can the aux channels be moving when I move the switches if the receiver is in failsafe? They can't. It's not possible. But look, nothing's happening. It's definitely in failsafe. In fact, we can even see up here, this little parachute right here being red. That means it's in failsafe. Okay, so I was freaking confused and then I figured it out. And it led me to understand that there is a mistake that... Not a lot, but some people, more than a few people are making when they set up their quadcopter and it's leading to this situation. Here's why this is, if you wanna guess for yourself or try to figure it out, pause the video now, I'm about to reveal the answer. The answer is over here in the modes tab. There's a mode in the modes tab, the failsafe mode. And when this mode is active as it is right now, then failsafe becomes active. And when failsafe is active, then the main control channels are locked out, just as if the quadcopter was in failsafe. But the aux channels are not locked out because you're switching failsafe on and off with an aux channel. Therefore, if we locked out the aux channels, you could never switch failsafe back off again once you switched it back on. But that doesn't answer the even bigger question of what even freaking is the failsafe mode and when would you want to use it? And the answer is that the only purpose of the failsafe aux mode is if you need to test failsafe. Now, the way that people usually test failsafe is still connected. they just turn off their radio and then the radio goes into failsafe. Or if you've got an external module, you can test failsafe by just pulling the external module out and that powers it down. But that may not work really well for, let's say you're testing GPS rescue. You wanna see if return to home is gonna work correctly. So you turn the radio off and the quad goes into failsafe and then it starts flying to the moon. It's gonna take you a minute to get the radio powered back up and get control again. By having failsafe on an aux switch, you can test failsafe mode by just flipping the aux switch. And if anything goes wrong, you can real quick flip it back. The quad will come out of failsafe and you can recover. So basically never. Like if you're trying to do something fancy with failsafe and you need to test it, failsafe aux mode is what you want. But if failsafe is just a simple disarm as it usually is with racing and freestyle drones, there's no reason to ever use failsafe mode. And there is never a reason to use failsafe mode except when you are trying to test your failsafe procedure during normal operation, you would always have this disabled. And the mistake that I think a lot of beginners are making, you definitely do not need to set failsafe mode up for failsafe to work. Failsafe just works. When the receiver disconnects, the flight controller goes into failsafe. You don't need to do that. That's gonna do it for this video. If you wanna see more about in-depth beta flight troubleshooting, I'm gonna put a link to my beta flight uh, playlist. I've got a playlist of ticks and trips tricks and tips about beta flight with all this this type of video i'll put it down in the video description you can scroll down there and click on it to see uh more of this stuff thank you so much for watching happy flying do you see this baby isn't he cute hit the subscribe button join my patreon use my affiliate links or just keep watching videos that's better than nothing Coco Gaga, subscribe to my daddy.